Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I was gonna have way more time to film this video than I actually do, but I really wanted to get it done so I could share this week to update with you as I am rehabbing my short nails. So I'm really gonna cut out all the fluff and we're just gonna jump right into it. So I did a rehab manicure on my nails last Friday. I shared that video to my channel and it has been exactly one week and a day. And here are my nails. They actually held up pretty well. My index finger and my thumb on this hand and then my middle finger my index and my thumb on this hand all started to chip. Towards the end of a manicure, I get really lax, really lazy, so I don't take the necessary precautions that I should when doing dishes, cleaning, putting things away. I'm a little more rough with my nails, which I know I shouldn't be as I'm trying to grow them. But even still, I didn't experience any breakage. My nails feel really strong right now, and I'm ready for another manicure. Now, I'm not gonna use the Biotin Ultimate Strength today for a couple of reasons. One being, I'm a little short on time, so I kinda wanna eliminate the base coat, and I wanna use some of my olive and June polishes again. So today you are going to see an Olive and June manicure. I love their system because all you need is a color and a top coat. Super simple, super easy. My nails really don't need much filing or tending to, so I'm just going to remove this polish, shape them just a tiny bit, and then jump right into the color. So like I mentioned, today is Saturday. I really wanted to do something fall this weekend, some kind of fall activity. We're gonna go apple picking and then to a local brewery. That is my master plan. I was trying to think of somewhere new or different and we haven't been to either of these places, at least together. So hopefully we can get some apples and then tomorrow I would love to do a little fall baking. I really like making homemade applesauce and apple crisp. Those are my two go-to fall recipes. But it's a really beautiful day today. The temperatures are in like the low to mid 60s it's sunny it's really like perfect fall weather so I'm very excited to get outside and soak up a little of this season because it flies by really quickly I wish fall would last a little longer my nails look pretty good they're gonna need a little bit of buffing up top my hope is that today's manicure will last me about a week and then next week I will go back to gel once my nails have a little bit of length on them gel is just the easiest safest most effective way for me to keep them long strong and it's really the only way that they grow it takes about four weeks for my nails to be in perfect condition so I'm hoping that if I can maintain them now come Thanksgiving and the holidays they will be like in prime shape definitely looking forward to the holidays this year and all the fun holiday manicures I don't want to have super short nails for them okay polish is removed I normally don't advise buffing your nails and I still stand by that but sometimes I don't know if you can see but just a couple of my fingers at the tips they're splitting or peeling so I really want to nip that in the bud right now so I will buff just a tiny bit at the top and I find that that peeling happens when my manicure begins to chip and I don't remove it because if I just let the manicure go the nails begin to peel underneath it and I don't see them I don't notice and they just get worse so it's my fault for not removing that manicure sooner but I really wanted to film it which is why we are here right now I don't advise clipping your cuticles but if you have any hangnails or areas that may be peeling a little bit go ahead and nip them but try to avoid the actual cuticle itself i'm so excited to have a fresh mani you have no idea okay i'm gonna pull my hair back and pull the camera down and we are gonna get started i'm just gonna take my glass file and just lightly touch up the shape they really don't need much shaping but any awkward growth i'm just gonna smooth out right now as these grow out i want them to grow in a nice round shape. I love me some oval almond shaped nails. They just look so clean and are easiest to maintain in my opinion. Go back over with that cotton pad in case you got any fuzzies hanging out. I push my cuticles back daily so I really don't need to do that today. They are ready to be polished. So like I mentioned we're going to work with an Olive in June polish today. Absolutely love their line. Today I am going for the ultimate fall shade. This is CN. It looks like a deep brown burgundy. I'm curious how it's going to wear on the nails, but I'm just going to roll it between my fingers to kind of shake it up because it does look like it has settled a bit. Oh yeah, that's pretty deep. Two coats of that will be deep, but I can tell that it's a little sheer, so you can make it as dark as you want. Ooh, I really like this shade. All right, starting on my pinky, I'm just going to paint a very thin coat. Ooh, that is going to be absolutely stunning.
you can definitely see the color. It is very brown. I actually don't think there's any red in this polish at all. Um, so this is gonna be a true brown, which is fine. But let's add the second coat. the difference between one coat and two but I am loving this polish it's definitely wearing a little more black really good I don't think I need a third they feel slightly tacky which is okay as long as they're not wet they are ready for the top coat Ugh, guys I feel like I'm so rushed and I hate it happy. I have to do a little cleanup though. I'm gonna zoom. This is what happens when I rush. A little fuzz in there. Okay, so when you smudge, like I just said I didn't want to do, then I'm gonna add another coat of color right there and a little more top coat. I feel like I end up smudging every time I do a manicure. I'm just gonna bring the camera up here because it's a little easier. One more coat of color there helped disguise it. I might do a little more color in that area, but while that dries, I'm gonna start the cleanup. So I take 100% acetone. I put a little bit of this in the cap, just a little, you really don't need much. And then with the cleanup brush, I'm going to soak it and start cleaning up all this polish that's on my nails or my fingers for that matter, not my nails. We wanna leave the polish on the nails. I like to use 100% acetone for cleanup because it just removes it the easiest, the quickest, and the cleanest. If you're using regular remover, it might take a little longer. This would have been a practically perfect manicure if I didn't just ruin the thumb. Whatever, mistakes happen, and I think it's good to show that because no one is perfect at painting their nails. Dang, these look good. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more color on the corner of this thumb. Just a tiny bit, one little stroke before I add a new top coat. The main reason I hate messing up is because it delays the whole manicure. You cannot be done until all the repairs and cleanup on the smudged finger are done. So we gotta wait, but it's okay. I'm gonna clean up this hand now. This is my right hand, and since I am a ready, this side usually gets a little messier. Have you guys done any fall activities yet? And if so, let me know in the comments. I really am looking forward to some apple picking and some baking. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Let me know what your favorite apple recipes are. I always make an apple crisp. I actually make an apple crisp pie just because I feel like the best part of apple crisp is the topping and the best part of apple pie is the crust, which makes no sense. Like maybe I don't like apple. I like to combine the two because I feel like it's the perfect dessert. I'm hoping I can also switch my closet over for fall this weekend because the weather is pretty much turned. Time to pack up all the sundresses and everything until next year, which is always a little sad, but 
exciting at the same time. I wish my closet was big enough to leave all the clothes out. It's not, so this project is definitely one that I kind of dread just because it takes a while and it can be really overwhelming. But I do kind of like it because as I switch over my closet, I realize what I did not wear the previous season and I try to just get rid of it before packing it up for next year. All right, I'm gonna clean up this thumb and then do the top coat, I think. This thumb is a mess. This is almost one of those situations where it would be better to redo it. So here is our patched up thumb. It looks like it could still use a little cleanup. Can it? I think it does need a little more. Wow, this is a mess. Guys, these nails look so good. This thumb is giving me so many problems that I'm just going to remove it and redo it because sometimes that is just the easiest way to get things done. So I'm going to sign off for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, we just redid the thumb. Took like two seconds and it looks so much better. Sometimes starting over makes way more sense than trying to like remove, patch, and repair a little tiny smudge. Well, it wasn't really tiny. It was probably like a third of this nail, but it looks so much better. So anyway, my nails are all done and they look so, so good. This is my first true fall manicure of the season. Again, this is Olive and June's CN. One coat wears pretty brown. Two coats wears like a dark brown, more black than red. Zero red in this polish. I don't know what I was thinking, but under the light, there is a, a little bit of warm undertone, but I don't know if you can tell. These nails just look so glossy. I cannot stop raving about Olive in June. If you have not tried this line yet, really, really give it a shot. I highly recommend it. I have a feeling when I check in next week for my week three rehab manicure, my nails are going to be in near perfect condition, if not 100% perfect condition, unless some kind of travesty happens. I think they're going to be in amazing shape. I don't know what it is about this polish. It just feels a little thicker, a little more luxe. It almost has this like gummy texture to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a really good thing. I'm not going to use their cuticle serum. I'm not a huge fan of it. Nothing wrong with it. It's just not my taste. I like something a little thicker and a little more oily. So today I'm actually going to use castor oil. I bought a little bottle of this last week and I've been using it a ton on my face, on my nails, and on my scalp as I'm trying to regrow some of my hair and just treat some of these really dry areas. Since my nails have been shorter, my cuticles have been a bit of a mess and I haven't been tending to them. When my nails are long, I really want them to look perfect. When they're short, they're already not desirable, so I just don't have the urge to keep up with them. But after a week of using the castor oil, I think they look much, much better. This is the castor oil I got. It's 100% pure Jamaican black castor oil for head to toe restoration. I grabbed it at Target for $8.99 maybe, but it's just super, super thick. It comes out like molasses. Like very, very thick. But I just apply a little bit of this to my nail beds and around my cuticles. And I swear it is just the most hydrating thing I have ever used on these fingers. And I think it's really working and really helping. And if you know me, you know I love this product because it has a pump. Just any product with a pump is right up my alley. Makes everything so much easier. And the rest I just kind of rub into the area between my index finger and my thumb. That tends to get very dry, especially this time of year. And then the rest of my hands. If you are trying to rehab your cuticles, like they need major attention, get some castor oil. I think it will make a huge, huge difference. A lot of people don't care for the smell. I find it to be pretty mild. I've heard it described as dead ladybugs and cigarettes, and I can truly see how people could say that, but I don't feel like it lingers. So when you put it on, you can kind of smell it, but it's not like you're wearing it and you smell like that all day. I wouldn't let it deter you. Now to give my hands a little more moisture, I'm going to use the hand serum from Olive and June. This is one of their newer products. It's made with cactus flower, and I actually really enjoy this hand serum. It's very lightweight, but it's super moisturizing and leaves your hands feeling very silky smooth. It also has a pump. So I'm just going to pump two squirts of this into my hands and rub it in, avoiding the nails because they're still kind of drying. I find the Olive and June polish to dry fairly quickly, but anytime I do my nails, no matter how fast drying the polish is, I do want to be careful in the hours immediately after just because your nails aren't ever going to be 100% dry, so they will be more prone to smudging during that time. They feel and look so, so good right now. They're a little oily, but it's all good. So that is it for week two of my rehab manicure. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Check me out on Instagram, and I will see you guys next week. <coughs>